Hey, I'm Joe. I'm 31 years old, married with a toddler, and have a baby on the way. I love music, movies, Detroit sports, Star Wars, and comics, and I've got a pretty great job handling web and social media at Beaumont Health System. Now, working at a hospital, you think I'd be pretty fit, but like most other busy people, sometimes exercise is put on the back burner. Now, it's time to kick it into gear, because this average Joe has decided to run a marathon. Well, a half of one. Hey, it's Average Joe. I'm here at the Beaumont Cardiovascular Performance Clinic, and I'm talking with Dr. Barry Franklin about why it's important to get your heart checked before taking on rigorous activity like running a half marathon. Runners like yourself typically have three questions. Do I have underlying heart disease, clogged coronary arteries, or a bizarre enlarged heart called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? Secondly, you want to know what's your optimal race pace. In other words, what's your fitness level and what's the highest pace you can go without developing fatigue. And lastly, I get questions all the time about supplements, about caffeine, about what we call ergogenic aids. Are these safe? Are these research-based? So those, those are the things that we typically address in the performance clinic. All right, sounds good. Let's get this ticker checked out. So this is the mask that you'll be wearing during the exercise test. Um, it captures all the air that you're breathing out. Um, it helps us to determine the amount of oxygen that you're able to take in and utilize at the level of the tissues. And the more fit you are, the higher that level or capacity is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, we can also determine the point at which your body goes from aerobic metabolism, where you're uh, mobilizing fat energy stores, to anaerobic metabolism, where you're using glucose stores or short-term energy, um, and that's called your anaerobic threshold. Joe, have you extend the arm out for me, palm up, elbow straight. One nine two over eighty four. One nine two eight four. Joe, where are you on that chart right now? Honest rating. Thirteen. Okay. You want to try th twenty seconds more, or have you bring it down here? You're the boss. Twenty seconds more. Let's take them down at the half. So it's a nice job. How do you feel? Good. Okay. Good. No chest pain. Nope. No lightheadedness. None. Little bit. Little bit of a sweat. A little bit. Getting rid of some heat. That's fine. Okay. Actually, got to be 85%. Good, good, good. So, Dr. Franklin, you saw me become a sweaty mess on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> How, how did everything look on the screen? Joe, we look at your electrocardiogram. We look for heart rhythm regularities. We didn't see any. We look for signs of strain, indicating your heart may not be getting enough blood and oxygen flow. We didn't see any. Up to a heart rate of about 150, 160. Quite, quite good. You got up to stage four of the protocol that we do, uh, which indicates you were consuming about 10 times the amount of oxygen you're consuming right now, or it means you have about a four met capacity. From this, we can also determine what your anaerobic threshold was. A quick look would suggest that it occurred around seven mets. That'll give you your optimal race pace. So for all those things, I think the, the test overall looked very, very good. On the next episode of Average Joe Runs a Marathon, when I'm not at work wearing something like this, I'm at home wearing something like this. Shirts, shorts, socks and shoes. Let's talk about the great things to wear when you're out running.